My name is I'm Christian Schult and I'm uh, the uh, product specialist together with my colleague Moritz Lücking in the product marketing and uh, um, we are happy to have you here and to give you some information. So the new Avion, because Glass offers a machine not only for big sized farms, now also for small sized and medium sized farms. And as you can see here in this region um, where we are right now, you have a lot of medium sized farms and we make now our combined portfolio complete with these entry level machines for customers who are mainly a lot of family owned farms, who are farming for a lot of, lots of generations on the same fields, who are um, using their own equipment. And um, this machine is specially developed and produced for this kind of farming application. So for family farms and uh, for smaller farms, which are looking for some points um, which are very important in this um, customer segment. And we would like to give you the main facts about these yeah, specifications of the machine. And I would like to hand over to Moritz, who will take now the, some technical parts. And Moritz, please tell us more about these machines. Somehow the customer benefits again into um, pillars. We have three pillars uh, with these machines. First pillar or customer benefit somehow is um, comfort in this class. So uh, we wanted to offer a comfortable and yeah, easy to operate um, machine to the customer. Then um, we have uh, the pillar of flexibility, which means on the one hand, we have a multi-crop machine, which is yeah, capable of all crops that are produced now and in future in our markets. Uh, and of course, yeah, flexible, a, a good and easy to adjust and adapt machine uh, to all the harvest conditions. And then we have yeah, the point of dependability, so we have a reliable machine, yeah, which is somehow future-proof. So we have all um, yeah, the, the uh, functionalities which, will, which are uh, important now for our customers and in future, with the, of course, combined with a yeah, high resale value which we can offer to our uh, customers. Yeah, so where do these customer benefits somehow come from as well? Of course, from our class combined DNA, how we call it. So we have around 60% of parts in this combine, which are yeah, somehow takeover parts from our Lexion and our Trion series, um, and even some takeover parts from our Tucano series. So they are already proven, and we take over the benefits which we have in the bigger um, combine family that we have in class and adapted it to this smaller segment. Yeah, so now let's have a little closer look um, how these yeah, takeover parts and the technical details of the machine look like. First thing, of course, to notice front attachment. Let's start in the front. We have a Vario cutter bar, uh, so a very flexible cutter bar for a lot of crop types, but we can as well offer uh, max flex cutter bars, for example, uh, for soybeans and uh, other um, crops which are close to the, to the ground foldable corn heads and so on. So in this combine class, we really have a full um, header offer. From the front attachment, we come to the feeder house. The feeder house is already a takeover part from our Creon series, where we have the well-known auto contour system. We also have the machine available without auto contour, of course, yeah, for um, yeah, all the customers uh, we have and their needs. Um, from this feeder house, we come to a 1 meter 42 chassis. That's also uh, new in this segment. Um, so we have a 1 meter 42 chassis in Trion and Lexion as well. So the whole combine family at class now has the same chassis with uh, in, in our product offer. From the feeder house, we come to a 600 millimeter threshing drum which is also new in this combine class. Um, to mention, looking at multi-crop capability I mentioned before, uh, we have a segment concave, so it's really easy to change the, com the, the um, threshing concave segment throughout the stone trap and adapt the machine to uh, different uh, crop types, for example, beans or corn. From our threshing drum, we come to a yeah, 
let's say, classic five walker um, separation. Um, five walker, 4.4 meters long, so very long walkers. Um, yeah, for a big um, separation capacity, especially for Northern Euro Europe, very interesting. So from our five walkers and the threshing drum, we come to a standard cleaning shoe, which is yeah, absolutely perfect for this throughput class, very easy to adjust. Um, of course, we have available our 3D system for side hill compensation in this um, combine class. Uh, coming from the cleaning shoe, what is a little bit new as well, we have the quantimeter, which is very similar to the Tucano quantimeter we have had before. Um, yeah, so really future proof somehow. Um, if you have yield or want to have yield mapping in future, it becomes more and more relevant. We can offer this with that machine. We come up to an uh, yeah, 8,000 liter grain tank, depending on the model, of course, and a 90 liter unloading with a rigid spout or a swiveling spout in this machine as well. We already know that from Creon as well. Yeah, then uh, I think very important to, uh, to mention, we have a very professional um, yeah, setup for our uh, chopping and, sp and spreading. We have a cuff spreader on this machine, so for perfect professional residue management. And we have a special cut uh, chopper on this machine uh, yeah, for our professional grain uh, customers, arable farmers, uh, that is mandatory. Okay, so um, yeah, as we um, mentioned before, we have three different models. So this is the biggest one, the 450, um, with 8,000 liter of grain tank volume. So quite a lot for this kind of machine. And um, we have the, the medium model, the 430. It's also uh, with um, 6,500 liters of grain tank volume. The grain tanks are opening to the front and to the, to the rear side, so we can open upwards. And the smallest one, the 410. This is with uh, 5,600 uh, liters grain tank volume and the grain tank is opening a little bit like a room. So not completely, it's a little bit yeah, like a room. So this is a 430 and this is um, the classic version. So, so this means um, the classic version is equipped um, yeah, for customers who are using the machine for uh, universal grain, I would say. So not um, corn or soya beans. It can be also uh, retrofitted for these um, fruits or crops. But um, the classic version is really for, for grain farming, yeah? for small grain, like you say. And uh, it's just with a one-step um, threshing drum drive, so uh, with, a, with a higher speed. And um, yeah, this is um, the classic version, despite of the maxi version, which is really um, capable, as Moritz explained, for corn heads, for harvesting corn. So it can also be equipped with differential lock. The classic version is without differential lock, so the customer can choose normally between the two product lines. Uh, he has to choose the maxi, uh, depending on his uh, crop rotation, or the classic version, uh, and um, this is then how, yeah, capable for, for small grains. And despite of these uh, two product lines, we have two different packages, uh, the trend and the business package, and this is uh, mainly uh, uh, for the job of the cabin and um, the points which are uh, yeah, also for the driver's comfort. So this is also for the salesman, and also for the customers, a very easy choice for the machine. Huh? Depending on the crop and on the farm size, you can choose between the three models, so it's quite easy for, um, yeah, for um, ordering the machine. And, uh, but most of the points are common with two machines, it doesn't matter if Maxi or Classic, and one of the main points is the maintenance point. So if the machine is sold to a family farm, everybody has also be able to look after the machine, to take care of it, to do the daily maintenance. And the first information is we have no greasing nipples, which have to be greased every day. So the smallest greasing interval is 50 hours, so normally for a good week or for harvesting. And on the rain day, like today, we can then look after the, after the machine. And also the greasing points, like on Lexon and Fion, we have these greasing banks, so it's very easy huh, to reach. And um, there's a greasing plan also here, so it's also easy for everybody to look where and how often to grease the machine. So the machine is very clean, as you can see. So um, also every point is the accessibility is quite good. We can also put on here our ladder, so for safe and, and secure um, maintenance. We have a toolbox over here, so also some spare parts in the toolbox can uh, be inside the machine. 
And uh, we also have some, some water here. Yes, it's also something in and some, some soap inside. Just a small detail, maybe it looks funny, but the drivers like to be clean in the machine. Huh? To have clean hands after cutting the machine or maybe fixing a knife in the front of the machine or something else. So the maintenance concept of this machine is really dedicated to, yeah, to, the, to the owner of the machine, who is often the driver. And it will also, if you go to the engine platform, we have some rails. We have a safe um, in entrance in the drain tank and to clean the window in the drain tank for, uh, for observing the drain quality. So this is really a well sort maintenance concept. Huh? So I think for the daily maintenance and the weekly and after also the cleaning after the harvest, uh, so you have a lot of um, openings on the sides, even on the walker because the machine is normally staying a lot of years on this kind of farms. So they run it for maybe two generations on the farm. And so the after harvest cleaning is also very important and this is also quite easy um, to do with this machine. So next to the maintenance, um, let's talk a little bit about the ground drive and the engine. We have Cummins engine here on the machine, 6.7 liters. And this is also, yeah, the takeover part more or less from the T1 range. So when we in 2021 introduced the Cummins engine on our combines, uh, the biggest one is uh, 258 horsepower. And this is uh, yeah, quite enough for a walker machine, even under shopping conditions. And um, yeah, our proven Cummins engines and the pre-series feedback so far is quite, quite good. Huh? The power is, is very good and uh, fuel consumption is also quite, quite nice. And the customers, the pre-series customers all over the world, they are quite satisfied up to now. So the maximum driving speed coming to the ground drive is 30 kilometers per hour. That means for this uh, yeah, quite kind of small machine, you have 30 kilometers per hour and you have, um, uh, uh, I'm losing the word, uh, you have uh, the, the ground drive is taking as much power as it's needed and the revs on the road, so the Motordrehzer of the Straße is reduced to um, 1700 on the road. So also on wide tracks to go on the road. It's quite uh, fuel saving and it's very, um, the noise level in the cab is quite low. When the machine is in the st standstill mode, so no function is uh, activated, it will go down to 800 engine revs. So it's very, very, um, it's very quiet. So when the driver is coupling the cutter bar, he's uh, coupling all the, the attachment points, uh, the multi-coupler, the PTO in the front, it's really quiet. And as soon as you activate the function, maybe you lift up the cutter bar, it's rising up the engine revs to 1,200 uh, revs per minute, and this is quite a good feature, and uh, it's very, yeah, very nice uh, for the for the customer when coupling or discussing uh, with the customer or with, uh, with some of the family members at the headband. So the biggest point when we talk about drivers, the driving comfort, and um, we have a very big cabin on this machine, and um, we have all the features we are used to have also on our um, Trion Lexion. So we have um, the multifunctional lever, the C-motion lever. So you have all functions in one hand, huh? like we use to have it on yeah, SS combines and uh, on the tractors. We have a CMIS 700 terminal. That is an EasyBus um, terminal. And you can also take this terminal maybe on the smaller tractors to use a sprayer or a slurry tanker or whatever. So it's EasyBus um, ready. You can just take it after the harvest and put it on the tractor and vice versa, you can, uh, you can go on that. We also have available GPS pilot, this is our CMS 1200. Um, this is also possible for this machine because uh, also in this customer segment, they are professionals, so they use, some of them they used to need, uh, they used to, to take a, a steering system, which is very important for them. And also in kinds of telematics and remote service, these machines are fully equipped in the class digital ecosystem. That means um, this machine is fitting in the fleet perfectly with all other class machines even if it's a yeah, more or less entry-level machine. And what is very important, the customer can choose it, can choose the quite low specification level up to a very high specific specification level, and all the things can also be retrofitted. That means this machine is really future-ready, it's future-proven, and we can adjust it to all the customer needs, maybe also for the upcoming years or generations, and this is really yeah, fitting perfect in the class combine range. <coughs> 